namaste everyone so in the previous video we discussed the components of excretory system in humans okay so in this video we are going to learn the internal structure of kidneys okay so we learned in the previous video that we have in the excretory system we have a pair of kidneys okay so that if we observe the inter, if we want to observe internal structure of kidney we have to cut the kidney uh, longitudinally okay now i am drawing longitudinal section of the kidneys see look at this so the kidney is uh, now i am taking one kidney it is in b shape and i am only one kidney it is in b shaped structure this b shaped structure so here this is notch through this notch only the blood vessel enters into the kidney as well as come out from the kidney so in the same manner ureter so this ureter also enter into the kidney through this only this is ureter ureter so this is kidney now if we observe when we cut this kidney like this we can find mainly three regions in the kidney okay so the outermost region this the outermost region it is in dark red in color this region is a dark red in color this part is known as a cortex what is this cortex otherwise can say a renal cortex okay so this is a renal cortex and below that we can find a light colored area this cortex is in dark reddish brown in color but below this we have a pale colored area that or light colored area in that area we can find some pyramid like structures pyramid like structures they are called renal pyramids so these are about uh, uh, so these are pyramid like structures there are about 9 to 12 pyramid like structures are present in this region this region where this pyramid like structures are located in the kidney we call this region as a renal so this uh, medulla this region we call as a medulla so it is medulla in the medulla we can find this kind of uh, pyramid like structures these are called a renal pyramids these are called a renal pyramids renal pyramid renal pyramid so this area is a light in color this is light in color so this outermost part is a dark red in color this portion we call as a cortex and this area where the renal pyramids are located where the renal pyramids are located this this area so this area this area total this area we call as a medulla what is this area medulla so in the medulla the masses of the tissues are present in a pyramid like uh, uh, structures so these are called uh, uh, renal pyramids so where the renal pyramids are located in the kidney that portion we call as a medulla so so this is uh, <coughs> outer to this medal, medulla here we have cortex region okay and next portion this one so here 
what is this this is ureter so the posterior side of the ureter is uh, somewhat broad okay when it enters into the kidney when it enters into the kidney see now i am drawing with this color this area we call as uh, this broad area we call as uh, renal pelvis renal pelvis okay so here from here this renal pelvis it branches off into two or three branches then again it sub branches and form like this structures like this some structures will form okay from the pelvis is subdivided into so they form some uh, calyx like structures in the flower that's why we call them as a calyces these are called a calyces calyces okay so this pelvis it branches off into some calyces and <coughs> they located to the point of this pyramids okay so this region is outermost region is cortex then middle part is medulla and this region is renal pelvis renal pelvis so along with this we know that a blood vessel which carries blood to the kidney also enters into the kidney and one blood vessel which carry away from kidneys the blood carry away from the kidneys that means renal artery as well as renal vein we have to draw here okay let us see now i will draw renal artery so for example take this one as a renal artery this renal artery after entering into this after entering into the kidney it subdivides into many arterioles many arterioles like this it subdivides into many arterioles and between these between these pyramids uh, there is a gap so between that gap so the blood vessels passes in between this renal pyramids and enters into the cortex like this they enter into the cortex okay so it subdivides and enters into the cortex in the same manner here a renal vein also come out from the kidney through this hilum only okay so that renal vein and arteries they form a bowl like structure in this cortex region and this also passes through this gaps which are present in between the pyramids and they unite and form renal vein and form renal vein this this is renal vein renal vein this is renal artery renal artery okay so this renal vein so the renal artery bring blood to the kidneys and renal vein it uh, take away the blood from the kidneys so it brings and it take away okay so this is the internal structure of the kidney now if you observe here this area this area cortex region is a granular in nature granular in nature why because so the functional units of the kidneys the functional units of the kidneys known as a nephrons 
nephrons so the functional units of the kidneys called nephrons are located in the cortex region that's why this cortex region is a granular in nature due to presence of nephrons so these are the functional units of kidneys why because so here in nephrons only the blood filtration of blood takes place okay that's why we call nephrons as a functional units of kidneys right so in the next video we will discuss about the structure of nephron and how the urine formation takes place so in each kidney there are more than 1 million there are more than 1 million nephrons are present that is very minute very minute structures okay so more than 1 million nephrons are present in each kidney and they are going to filter blood so we are going to learn this in the next video how the nephrons helps in filtration of blood okay Thank you.